In April 2003, we traveled to the Spanish island of Mallorca. Perhaps best known as a tourist destination, it was here that we met up with a 16-year-old who would go on to achieve record-breaking feats and become one of tennis's most recognizable figures. The teenager was in his first year playing full-time on the ATP Tour, and he was already starting to make an impact. As I'm younger than the other players, when I turn up at tournaments, I do sometimes feel as if all the others must play much better tennis than me. But when we get out on court, because I'm a fighter and I really hate losing, things tend to level out. Rafa began playing tennis aged four with his uncle Tony, who still coaches him today. A natural athlete from a sporting family, Rafa's other two uncles were professional footballers. One of them, Miguel Ángel Nadal, played for Barcelona and Spain and built a reputation as an uncompromising defender. Tony offered us a valuable insight into the similarities between uncle and nephew. Both of them are very disciplined in sport and in life in general. I think that's one standout quality they share. They're both willing to make sacrifices for their sport, but I think Rafael is more straightforward than his uncle. I'd say Rafael is mentally more aggressive than Miguel Ángel. At this stage of his career, Nadal was making the transition from playing in satellite tournaments to fully-fledged events on the ATP Tour. But tennis wasn't his only sporting interest. I love football. I played it seriously until I was 11 or 12 and liked it just as much as tennis, maybe more. And I still love watching it on TV, more than I do watching tennis. Home for Rafa was his parents' house in Manacor. Off the court, he was a typical teenager who enjoyed films, going out with friends and the all-consuming attractions of the PlayStation. Back in 2003, Spain boasted three of the world's finest clay court players in Juan Carlos Forero, Albert Costa and Carlos Moya. Himself a native of Mallorca, Moya first saw Nadal play when he was just eight. They went on to become regular practice partners, and although Rafa was perfectly comfortable in Moya's company, he was less willing to be compared with his fellow islander. I don't think you can make any comparisons between us. He's been number one in the world, whereas I'm still pretty young. I'm only 16 and I've still got everything to do. I may be playing well at the moment and things may be looking good for me, but the truth is there are plenty of people out there who started their careers well only to fall away later. So you can't really make comparisons with someone like Moya. It's a tough job I've got ahead of me. Winner of the French Open in 1998, Moya was well qualified to comment on Nadal's prospects and he was fully aware that we were looking at a champion in the making. I think he's already a very complete player and he's improving all the time. I mean, he's good enough right now, but he has a fantastic future ahead of him. He's aggressive, he has a solid game, and he's very ambitious. And what with the desire he has, well, he's already a tough player to face, and one day he could be almost unbeatable.